Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna react to um, Hoop Reports uh, top five NBA hot takes of 2023 uh, edition. But you know, uh, let's get into full reaction, man. We're in the middle of the 2022 NBA offseason, but okay. already so many storylines are building up. Where will Kevin Durant go? Will Miami land another star? What the heck are no. the Lakers gonna do? Trade, guys. please. I love the NBA. And with that being said, let's go over some of my 2023 hot takes. Hope reports. First off, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with this take, but uh -huh. the Philadelphia 76ers are going to be the Eastern Conference champions. Cap. They represent the East and the I Conference. smell Cap. I got the Bucks. People say James Harden isn't the player he used to be, that he's washed and this and that. But the truth is, he just came off a season where he was recovering from a hamstring injury while dealing with all the dysfunction happening in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And then even through all that, the man still nearly averaged a 21-point triple-double. Okay. My goodness, guys. This man is still a beast. In 2023, I predict the following for the 76ers. Harden is going to be playing at an all-NBA level. Okay. Joel B is, is going to be, be in shape? at an MVP level. And Tyrese Maxey is going to be playing at a borderline all-star level. Mm, okay. Then, with the rest of the roster, plus the newly added players such as P.J. Tucker and Trevor and Queen, the 76ers are going to be both top-heavy and deep. The 76ers' Man, cool. biggest issues in the past has been injuries to Joel Embiid, but with James Harden sort of mentoring him a bit, Embiid should have a relatively healthy year. If you're wondering what, what I mean, what does that check mean, bro? Out. How did mentor and help him stay healthy? After diving for a loose ball and hitting the deck hard, the beard went up to Embiid and said, you don't have to play defense if you score more baskets than the other team. That's cap. Right? Nah, I'm kidding about that. Okay. But he did say something about playing smarter and not getting hurt, which actually is a smart thing. Okay, to that's actually good advice. Okay, but... Are you sure he said that? You sure he didn't say, uh, uh, after this game, let's go to a fucking club? You sure? Do if you want to compete for a championship. You sure that's anyway, what he said? I see these 76ers going up against the Bucks in the Eastern Conference Finals, and my biggest hey, guys, Harden versus Giannis, is going to be a must-watch TV. Yeah, facts. Next off here... That's the hardest to all that shit, bro. You got to back it up during the Eastern Conference Finals. In 2022, tough. they were, like, second in the league when it came to regular season standings, but, uh... I think their superstar Morant is overrated. Damn. He reminds me of Russell Westbrook. Very Damn. flashy, explosive, and puts up a ton of regular season highlights. But when the playoffs come around, they get exposed. Mm. I mean, look at what happened this past season when the Grizzlies matched up against the seventh seeded Timberwolves. Bro. They barely survived. That's fact. Honestly, bro, the Timberwolves, bro. Bro, they could have won this fucking series, bro. They just folded. Like, bro, they kept blowing fucking leads, bro. And I blame that million on Cat because, like, nigga, when you're up, nigga, you, you keep, bro, you got to apply the fucking pressure, bro. Like, Cat should have played in the post more and dominated these niggas, bro. Soda should have won that But he had Anthony I Edwards, mean, my nigga. And, and five, was doing his shit. The Timberwolves had substantial leads in the fourth quarter. And if not for unexplained mental breakdowns, bro, Memphis would have been eliminated in the first round. In addition, the West is hey, only Zion? getting better. Kawhi I mean, PG the Timberwolves added in there. Zion Williamson is back for the Pelicans. Facts. Kawhi is back for the Clippers. Facts. Both Murray and MPJ are back for the Nuggets. Facts. LeBron and AD are looking to bounce back. Yeah. Luka is only getting better. And then we have the defending champions. Yeah. Luka and the Mag State definitely Warriors. got better for sure. If Memphis matches up with any one of these teams in the first round, I'm going to DraftKings to double my earnings for the year. Hey, good sponsor. All expense paid vacation. Courtesy of the Grizzlies. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding about that. But in all seriousness, I don't see the Grizzlies making it out of the first round. Damn. They'll be decent in the regular season, but yeah. Next off, I have Luka Doncic winning the MVP award. Honestly speaking, in 2022, the man nearly averaged a 28-point triple-double while he was Facts. visibly out of shape. Analysis online. I agree with this because Luca gonna have the narrative going in next season to win the championship. And because he's coming off he's coming off a uh, Western Conference finals appearance, right? He finally show he finally told uh or showed all the doubters wrong that like bro, he could finally get out the first round 
even though people discredit him by not getting out the first round when he was going against uh, the fucking Clippers team with Kawhi and PG, and the second best star, fucking Porzingis, was fucking roaming around the fucking perimeter all fucking all all the games and only averaging like you know 15 points or whatever. But bro, Luca made it to the Western Conference Finals. He fucking beat. He fucking cooked the Suns, my nigga, in in a game seven, and then must need a game seven win, bro, and blew those niggas out. So, bro, he definitely got the narrative going in next season, and the Mav team would would be better, bro. Would be better with Jason Kidd, with Jason Kidd as their coach and shit, doing their shit, bro. Like Shannon Sharp, I definitely got that Luka winning. Be embarrassed MVP. for the way he entered the past season, and rightly so. Still, though, despite physically not being in the best condition possible, the man put up LeBron James like statistics. That's true. All NBA first team and single handedly eliminated the number one seeded Phoenix Bro. Suns from the playoffs. Fucking Suns, if he disgrace. Did all of this out of shape, just think of what he'll be capable of. And he uh, takes care of his body. Oh, yeah, they saying Luca's skinny and shit. Photos and videos emerged recently when he went back to play for Slovenia after the playoffs, and he's looking much different than 12 months ago. Yeah. In 2023, we're going to see a much more motivated Doncic from the get-go. Because of the mm -hmm. roster of the Mavericks, however, I still don't see them as a championship team. But in the regular yeah, season, I agree with that. They, they need like another star. To three seed in the West, and with the numbers he'll be putting up, I see him winning the 2023 MVP award. Nah, I agree with that. Next off, we have the Phoenix Suns. And my Bro, I swear, the Mavs just need another star. Just just another fucking star for Luka. Then it's going to be a dangerous fucking scene, bro. Is that they won't be a top four team in the West. Like, look what, like, look what uh, Luka doing with fucking uh, role players, man. They were second and first in the league when it came to regular season standings. Mm -hmm. But in 2023, I don't see them even in the top four. Ooh, interesting. First off. Every team in the league is going to know how to attack them. Yeah. You don't need no game plan. All you got to do is attack Chris Paul on offense, get him tired, then his effectiveness drops substantially. Fact. This was exploited in the 2020 CP3 is old, though. The whole so. league saw it. Gee. I mean, a New Orleans Pelicans team minus their best player in Zion already pushed them to six games. Yeah. And then a Luka-led Mavericks gave them one of the worst beatings in NBA history. Facts. And before I even forget... They're going to have chemistry issues with their other star, DeAndre Ayton. Hey, the Suns window to win a championship definitely closed, bro. Remember back in that deciding game seven, Monty Williams benched him for a huge... Yeah, and I think Aiden's getting traded and uh, uh, during the season. That there are quote-unquote internal issues. Then uh, after the season finished, the Suns refused to give him the max extension, and it wasn't until yeah. Indiana almost signed him that the Suns it. finally caved in and paid him what he was looking for. Yeah, facts. Lastly here, in addition to the problems I just mentioned, although the Suns aren't the defending champs, they're going to have targets on their back. I mean, they were the number one seed in the league last season, and Rex. they trash talked like crazy along the way. Bro, they was talking. Bro, they were talking shit like crazy, and end up getting fucking mo They asked Molly Watt, my nigga, doing a game seven, bro, blown out, every night. and they and, and they defense player the of the playoffs, year, you know, opinion, uh, candidate, uh, Mikael Bridges got fucking cooked lastly, throughout that whole series. Take, by Luka. It's gonna be about Golden State. The 2023 Golden State Warriors are gonna completely dominate the league. Repeat as champions Ooh. and another Larry O'Brien. Oh, they're going to go back to the back? That's Hold on. Fans. The Warriors just breezed by a Mavericks team. that. Hold on. It's definitely a lot of positive for uh, the, the Warriors to go back to back because, like, bro, because, like, Clay would be coming back. We'll finally be coming back, you know, you know, uh, 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 from his injury because cause this season right here was more like, you know, a fail out season for him. Um, um, you you know really you know get back in rhythm and shit and 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 like you know uh and like you know getting used to playing after like two years, uh pool would be better. Uh, what's it called James Wiseman? They finally going they finally uh get to you know play James Wiseman. Ho hopefully he be uh, pretty productive. Uh, and who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, oh yeah, and and the big three you know for him finally get to you know number one season finally get to the enter league. the season together. Yeah. They made light work of a Celtics team that swept Durant and the Nets. Uh, uh, they did. In short here, guys, no team could handle the offense that Steph Curry and the crew threw at them. Then, in the offseason, 
Although they lost two of their key rotational players, yeah. Bob Myers and the rest of the front office did an amazing job and filled those holes pretty well. Yeah, bro. Dante Vincenzo on the Warriors is nasty. Bro, that's nasty. From what we've seen in the summer league, James Wiseman and and Kaminga will be ready in 2023. Oh, yeah, and Kaminga. Yeah, bro, I forgot about Kaminga. Be ready. Bro, I forgot about Kaminga and Moody. Like, bro, Moody. Psh, bro, I'm telling you, bro. Be ready in 2023. Bro, Kaminga is going to be gonna dangerous. Be Wiseman and Moody. Jeez, guys. It's not even going to be fair. Bro, the Warriors I mean, is stacked. Okay. it's not. Now, there might be some growing pains to start the season, but once yeah, they're about sure. 20 or 30 games in, teams are going to be completely steamrolled by the offense that the Warriors will be able to generate. Some of y'all might be saying, but what if KD moves to a team like Phoenix or Miami? Or what if he gets traded to the Celtics? The uh, uh, maybe the Celtics, but if it's the Suns or the Heat, bro, they will have to gut that team, bro. There is. Get them. It doesn't matter. First off here, the Brooklyn Nets are holding Durant on a King's ransom. Facts. I mean, for the Celtics, I think the Nets wanted something like both Marcus Smart and Jalen Brown, plus rotational pieces like Grant Williams and Derek White. Facts. And then after all that, they want multiple future draft picks. Facts. Oh, my god. That's goodness, for a lot, guys. my nigga. Why not just ask for a 30% stake in the Celtics' ownership as well? Yeah, why not? They <laughs> so, want everything, bro. Even if Durant gets traded to any of those teams, they're not going to win. I mean, look, Facts. if he couldn't beat the Warriors back in 2016 when he was paired up with a prime MVP caliber version of Russell Westbrook, Damn. he's not going to beat the Warriors now. The 2023... Yeah, I agree with that. But it's like, bro, can anyone win over Russ, though? Like, like, can they? ...version of Golden State is still light years ahead of the next best team when it comes to the playoffs. And uh, I just hope they earn enough revenue for Joe Lacob to open up his wallet... <laughs> But yeah, another great video on fucking uh, Hoop Digest. N not Hoop Digest, Hoop Reports. Uh, but bro, let me know in the comments if y'all think the fucking uh, Warriors would, you know, be back-to-back -back NBA champions or whatever. Because like, bro, bro, the way they roster looking like now, man, like, man, that shit gonna look dangerous. But let me know in the comments if you think the Warriors would, like, you know, be back-to-back -back champions. But, but man, I'm, a I'm excited for this 20, uh, 23 season, bro. Because like man, like so many, like bro, so many um other players coming back, like Hawaii coming back, uh, uh fucking who else? Uh, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter, uh, the math would be coming back with with like you know uh, with Christian Woods at, as a center and, and and coming off that tremendous season that they had you know just before, man, the Celtics would be coming back, uh, coming off the uh, you know final appearance that they had, and we see how that works out. See if KD a trade, like so many things can like happen. But, you know, like, comment, subscribe. If you just anything else you want to add to, you know, down below in the comments, material, and next one.